Okay, problem number 20. For this problem, should as, you should at first consider intuitive thinking to understand. And we want to solve it logically, not only a formula and then from formula reach something. We should know why it happens. And in each step, we want to consider what should we do. So let's start. The diagram below shows the region or x, y. y is greater than or equal to this. Okay, so this diagram is y equal to half x squared on the x y plane bounded by the parabola y equal one half x squared and it says y greater than or equal to this it means this area okay let's see one be the largest circle line inside r here it means this one and with its lowest point at the origin okay so this is zero zero so here this part from the here to here, it's a li little hard to understand what does it mean. So we, we work on this. So let's read the following. Let's see to be the largest circle lying inside R. Okay, so R and resting on top of C1. Okay, so uh, it says find sum of radii of C1 and C2. Okay, so here mm, we know it is, for example, this one, the largest one. We know this. Okay, but for this one, zero, zero, let's see it means what. So look, if I consider, for example, with pink, it is this, for example, if you draw, if you consider larger, larger, but if it is larger than, for example, something, then it will be what? It will be something like this. And then look here. All of them are tangent to this line, to x-axis. But here, look, it is on top of this pink circle. So the problem is what this circle always is on top of y equal to 1 half x squared. So we understand this part, that it means what. It's important to at first know the problem is what, and then try to change it to mathematics formula. Then it's logically. But if the solution is not logical for some problem, it's not important to not solve that because there are few students that can solve. So it's so much important to understand the problem. We want to solve all problems logically. So let's at first focus on this one. Let me draw. Okay, for this one, we consider, for example, it is R, it is R. This one is R prime r prime r prime okay so at first we want to focus on this if we write the equation of this it will be y or let's start x minus zero squared plus y minus r squared equal to r squared it will be x squared plus y minus r squared equal to r squared now here look we want to now apply this condition we say, okay, we want to say it's on top of that. This one always should be on top of this one. So on top means what y of this should be greater than y of this one. y of this is 1 over what x squared. So we should find y of the circle. So y minus r squared equal to r squared minus x squared. So y minus r equal to plus minus root r squared minus x squared. So y equal to r plus minus r squared minus x squared. So the y of circle should always for any x, for any x. The y coordinate of circle should be greater than equal y coordinate of the parabola here. So we can say what we conclude r plus minus r squared minus x squared is greater than equal x squared over 2 now for each x why we have plus minus because if you consider each x we have 2 y look when you have a circle for each x because here we have origin we have 2 y the minimum one if the minimum one is greater than equal this so it, this one is also okay the minimum one the down one bottom one is what is minus sign so it is r plus this this one is r minus so 
r minus root r squared minus x squared should be greater than equal x squared over 2. Okay, here we can say what? We can say x can be, because the radius is r between negative r and positive r, here is 0. So we can say x is between negative r and positive r because we want to work on x squared. x squared is less than or equal r squared. Now, here we know it is equivalent that r minus x squared half is greater than or equal r squared minus x squared. So if we raise, uh -huh, we should say it is positive. So look, if it is negative, then contradiction because negative cannot be greater. So another condition is this one should be positive. So r is minus x squared over 2 is greater than or equal to. Now, if we raise both sides to the power of 2, we have r squared plus x to the power of 4 over 4. Minus 2 times this will be r x squared greater than or equal r squared minus x squared. If we cancel these two things and we divide by x squared, we can say x squared over 2 over 4 minus r is greater than or equal negative 1. So look here, if x is 0, we can say it is okay. So we want to consider the case that x is not 0. Also, you can check here if x is 0, r minus r is 0, and x is 0, it's okay. So x is positive, it's not 0. Now, also you can say only positive, because for negative sign, you have also same things. So it is equivalent what that x squared over 4 greater than or equal r minus 1 for all x. So for a small x, it goes to 0. So it, it should look here. If you say r, it is a constant. But this one, x squared, should be OK for all x here. So for all x near 0. So the only r that satisfies this condition, maximum r, the problem says, maximum r is what? equal to 1 because for example if it is 2 then we have 1 here if you consider x for example 1 over 100 then it will be near 0 and that's a contradiction okay so now let's consider okay now here we say it is 1 1 it is r prime so the coordinate x coordinate is 0 y coordinate is r prime plus 2 so if i want to write the coordinate of this circle it will be x squared, x minus 0 squared, plus y minus r prime minus 2 squared equal to r prime squared. Now, here, look, in this point, it's an important thing. When you have two functions that they are equal, and also they are tangent to each other. So, you can say the equations are equal. For example, suppose it is x0, it is f of x, it is g of x. Then you can say f of x is equal to g of x and also f prime x equal to g prime x. Or you can define hx equal to fx minus gx and then hx0 equal to 0 because f prime here, x0 they are equal and you can say hx equal 0, hx0 and h prime x0 equals 0 because it will be f prime minus g prime which equals 0. So we use these things here. I write both equation because they are equal and also tangent to each other. So for circle, I write all of them near to each other. y minus r prime minus 2 squared equal to r prime squared and y equal to half x squared. So if they are equal to each other, we replace x squared here with 2y, so it will be 2y plus y minus r prime minus 2 squared equal to r prime squared. Now, here we can say what? We can say if we expand, it will be 2y plus y squared plus r prime squared plus 4 minus 2y r prime minus 4y plus 4r prime equal to r prime squared. And if we cancel, then we have y squared. And for y, we have this, this, and this. So plus y 
2 minus 4, negative 2 minus 2r prime, and 4 plus 4r prime equal to 0. Okay, as we said, they are tangent to each other, so if you differentiate, it will be 0. So if I differentiate, if you had any question about the solution of this problem or other problems, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. It will be 2y plus minus 2 minus 2r prime equal to 0. If we divide both sides by 2 and take these to right side, it will be y equal to 1 plus r prime. Okay, so we found this. Now we replace in the main equation here. Okay, now if I replace y is 1 plus r prime, so it will be 2 times this, plus it will be y is 1 plus r prime minus r prime minus 2 squared equals r prime squared. So it will be canceled, this and this. 1 minus 2, negative 2, and negative 2 to the power of 2 is 1, so 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2r prime equals r prime squared. And now, if we take all things to right hand side, 0 equals r prime squared minus 2r prime minus 3, which equals r prime minus 3, r prime plus 1. So in this case, it's contradiction because r prime cannot be negative. Here, r prime is negative 1. So we have only this, r prime equal to 3. So the problem says find the radius, sum of radius r plus r prime, r was 1, and r prime is 3, so 1 plus 3 is equal to 3. For coordinate geometry, there are some rules, for example, differentiation, as I said before the exam, I released useful ideas two days before the exam. In that case, I said differentiation is important, derivatives consider that Lagrange multiplier and in senior, junior are considering different cases, a small example in all sections, junior, senior, and open section, you, this year there were some problem, more than one problems in each exam that could be solved by that idea in each problem I explained.